Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hello and welcome to Biosciences with Chatrin Swati and I'm here to deliver the lecture about the application of biotechnology and from the application of biotechnology today I'm going to deliver the lecture about the first application is that is very important and that is gene therapy. So now I'm going to start my lecture about the gene therapy but before starting my lecture I have a very humble request to do subscribe my channel like my video share my video if you're sharing my videos you're sharing the knowledge so keep watching keep sharing knowledge with, knowledge with others and kindly do viral the educational content and knowledge okay now uh, in this lecture i will discuss about the history available gene therapies types gene delivery systems strategies principle of gene therapies and the at last application of the gene therapy now what is gene therapy most of the students are confused and they mix the gene therapy with the transgenic plants and animal strategies no this is totally different uh, and i am going to tell you what is basically the gene therapy is gene therapy is an experimental technique that uses genes to treat or prevent diseases in future, these techniques may allow these doctors to treat a disorder by inserting a gene into a patient's cells instead of using the drugs or surgeries. Is it clear? So, in simple words, you can say gene therapy is the replacement of the bad genes or unhealthy gene with the good genes or healthy genes. Is it clear? So, now, uh, the history. The first attempt at the modifying hum human DNA was performed in 1980 by the uh, Martin Klein. But the first successful nuclear gene transfer in human approved by the National Institute of Health was performed in May 1989. Uh, the first therapeutic use of the gene transfer as well as the first directed insertion of the human DNA into the nuclear genome was performed by the French Anderson. And you know who was the French Anderson? He is considered as the father of the gene therapy. If you are not familiar uh, with the father of the gene therapy, you can see here I am. Uh, I have a, a photograph of the Anderson on my right side. You can see. So uh, he was the French Anderson in uh, trial starting in September 1990 when uh, Ashanti. Uh, De Silva was treated for ADA SCID. Now, what is the ADA SCID? SCID is a disease which is known as the uh, severe combined uh, immunodeficiency syndrome. And this disease is caused by the defects in the ADA gene. Now, what is ADA? ADA is the adenosine deaminase, uh, uh, adenosine deaminase protein or enzyme. So, the Mutations in the ADA gene causes the severe combined immune deficiency uh, disease and this is inherited disease and uh, found in the uh, uh, infants. Okay, now this is the overall uh, method which uh, was used by the Anderson for performing the gene therapy against the uh, ADA uh, or SCID. Uh, in this technique, first the, uh, you can see here the clone gene is inserted into the genetically modified uh, retroviruses. This is disabled retroviruses, okay, genetically modified retroviruses and uses a vector for carrying the ADA gene into the uh, human body. So this uh, retrovirus uh, is now injected with the clone gene and this uh, uh, retrovirus with the clone gene is now uh, put into the or mixed with the human cells uh, which are removed from the human body. Now what will happen? Uh, the cells are grown in the culture to ensure the active uh, to, uh, activity of the ADA gene. Now, uh, after that, these altered gene, uh, sorry, altered cells are uh, again transplanted into the human body for the production of the ADA. So this was the strategy. This was the method used by the uh, Anderson for what? For treating the ADA gene therapy. Now the available gene therapies are uh, first one is the Lexterna. You can see here Lexterna is uh, carrying, uh, you can simply say that this is the Lexterna uh, contain the RPE65 gene. RPE is the retinal pigment epithelium and this uh, Lexterna is uh, injected into the human retina uh, to uh, treat the retinal disorder. 
eye disorder. Is it clear? Now the second one is the Novartis Chimera. Uh, Chimera antigen receptor T cells are the FDA first approved gene therapies to enter the market. The third one is the Zolgensima. Uh, Zolgensima is used for the spinal muscular atrophy. And other one is the El Nylema. Uh, Petestrin have also received FDA approved in addition to other uh, companies gene therapy drugs. Most of these approaches utilizes adenoviruses and lentiviruses performing gene uh, insertion in vivo and ex vivo respectively. Now I'm going to discuss about the types of the gene therapy. As you can see here there are two uh, common types. One is the in vivo and one is the uh, second one is the ex vivo. In vivo and ex vivo uh, is based on the insertion of the or the delivery of the gene inside the body or outside the body. In vivo is inside the, of the body means the injection of the uh, gene, healthy gene, uh, by using the vectors and by using the nanoparticles into the human body and the other one is the ex vivo in which the cells are replaced first from the human body and then injected with the cell, uh, sorry, in injected with the gene and then again transplanted into the human body. So this is the in vivo way and the ex vivo uh, uh, way of the gene delivery into the human body. Is it clear? Okay, now the categories of the gene delivery system. There are two categories. One is the germline gene delivery system and the other is the somatic gene delivery system. In uh, the germlines, you are familiar that egg and sperm related to egg and sperm and somatic, somatic cells other than the germ cells. So although the germline the gene delivery system may have great potential, but the germline gene therapy cannot use ethically. Now, uh, gene transfer techniques or mechanism methods of the transfer include either direct injection of the DNA into the recipient cell, as I have shown you, methods to induce the membrane permeabilities or receptor mediated uptakes or uh, endocytosis, means using the uh, like the nanoparticles uh, uh, used to deliver the gene into the human body directly. In, in vivo way so this is also and the third one is the transduction utilizes uh, recombinant viruses as a vector for gene transfer is it clear now i am going to discuss strategies of the gene therapy gene therapy strategies include the gene augmentation therapy gene inhibitor therapy killing of the specific cells which are unhealthy cells like in case of the tumor and cancer uh, and targeted mutation correction. Now uh, here I am sharing something about the gene augmentation versus the corrective gene therapy. Gene augmentation is also known as the gene replacement therapy and this gene augmentation uh, uh, is the random insertion of the healthy counterpart of the defective gene somewhere in the genome and the direct insertion of the healthy gene at the specific site is known as the corrective gene therapy. Uh, the gene augmentation approach is feasible today but the corrective gene extensive study is required to direct gene at correct position in the genome and the suitable uh, gene augmentation is suitable for the recessive disorders and for single gene mutations but the corrective gene is responsible for the dominant disorder is it clear so you can see here the gene augmentation uh, therapy uh, if the cell uh, like you can see this is the disease cell and this is like uh, a gene a to produce the product as so the gene is uh, inserted into uh, the, these uh, disease cells and now the, these cell after the insertion of the gene a these cells become the normal and produces the gene product a now this is the overall mechanism in which first the cells are removed, then the uh, lent, uh, lentiviruses or uh, adenoviruses, or you can say that simply the retroviruses which are genetically modified and then the gene of insert, uh, interest is now uh, inserted into that vector, uh, virus vector and that virus vector is uh, mixed with the uh, human cells and then this cell, these cells are inserted back into the human body uh, uh, which are the genetically modified cells. Are you, uh, this is the simple way of you can say that the gene therapy. Is it clear? Now uh, after introducing, introducing to the human body these cells are able to produce the required proteins or maybe the hormone anything else. Is it clear? 
okay now the gene inhibitor therapy sometime in our body some genes produces the harmful product so that gene is blocked by the gene uh, another gene so in gene inhibitor therapy the uh, gene uh, which produces such product which block the activity of the unhealthy gene in our body is inserted so that in uh, uh, inserted gene uh, uh, by the gene therapy uh, produces the product that block the faulty genes and this is known as the gene inhibitor therapy. Now, what is the most common form of the gene therapy? Most of the students ask, what is, what is the most common? The most common gene therapy vectors are uh, viruses because they can recognize certain cells and carry genetic material into the cell genes. Researchers remove the original disease-causing gene from the viruses, replacing them with the gene needed to stop diseases. Is it clear? So you can see here adenovirus is used to insert the gene and that gene after uh, insertion into the human body produces its uh, functional protein or any other, maybe the protein, maybe the uh, hormones which is required for the human body. Is it clear? So the overview of the gene therapy. Gene therapy is the insertion of the gene into an individual cell to treat hereditary diseases by replacing uh, defective alleles. Number two, it differs from the standard transgenic uh, practices as I have discussed in that it is introduced to transfer existing organism rather than uh, create new one. Is it clear? Viral vectors are typically used due to their ability to inter integrate DNA into the host genome. The process involves removing cells from the patient body and using a viral vector to introduce a functional copy of the defective gene. When the cells are transplanted back into the patient, they should begin expressing the missing protein to restore uh, normal health. I hope so. The lecture will be clear upon you people. I will be back um, with the application and the principle of the gene therapy. Uh, till then, Allah, Fiz, and thank you very much.